I'd like to show you why this um, this incident is the most blatant theatrical nonsense I've seen in a while. I'd like to point out two things before I roll the tape. One is the height of the banks on either side. They're as high as the cars, high as the vehicles. And I'd like you to see on the right hand side, there is a man standing high on the snowbank, and there are two more in the back of the car, or in the back of that van, uh, who are about to get out. When I roll this, when I roll this uh, tape again, I want to show you where the editing point is. In just three, <laughs> in just three short seconds, the left bank, the left high bank of snow, has been completely demolished. Of the three men in the back of that youth, the one back of that car. Two have disappeared. One can be seen, well, it looks like he's scooting down onto the road. A very dark figure there. The Lavoy character is out of his car, his door's closed, and his hands up in the air. This is just three seconds, mind you. The Lavoy vehicle is now magically in a valley, uh, with no snow piled up in front of him that's been pushed forward, and a clear path behind that car, which is almost on hard ground, which you'll see when some of these um, characters start walking on it. They step down. They're not climbing the bank, they're stepping down onto the path that has been cleared, supposedly, by that car. The other thing I should add here is that the roadblock, the left car, has a character lying down in the snow who actually gets up later and walks, has to step up onto the road. I'm going to count the seconds that our eyes are taken away from this uh, the scene of this impact. Two scenes. First scene. One second, two second, three seconds. Right back there. Now I'm going to do it in slow motion. And uh, you can see that the pan is blurred from the word go. They blur it and then go down. There you go. And the blur, there it is. And this is where the cut is made. Now this is scene two coming up. Because it isn't the same as the first scene that we saw. I'm going to show you why uh, right now. So, this is rather slow, but it's heading back to what is scene two. This is what we saw in the first place. <clears throat> it's very brief, I'll show you in detail why this isn't the same scene. Uh, scene one at full speed. Now we've got scene one at a quarter of the speed. And now we have scene one at slow speed zoomed in on the vehicle. Can you see that? Now I'm going to zoom in and hold the frame. This is what the impact looks like. The nose is buried into the snow and the car is almost turned over on its right hand side. That is not what we see in scene two. Scene one has this car almost turned over and its nose buried and that's where it stops. And I want to press home now why these are two different scenes. I'm going to show you even more slowly that this car is buried and it stops with its nose, probably equivalent to the, uh, in the same position as the end of the blue car on the right. This is how it looks. It's buried, almost on its right hand side. See that? And this is what they do. This is where the car is buried. Now, this is what they do with the production after that. They pan north. They pan north. And they blur the scene, like they have done there, and there isn't anything recognisable, okay? Nothing at all is recognisable, coming back down to where they have the road clear, and the 
things are making boats. This is the production. So the scene that we have just seen isn't the scene that we're about to be taking back to. Yeah, we really see boats. This is a game we're playing. Don't fall for it. What we've got here is a return to what is supposed to be the impact that we just saw. But it isn't. It is different. What we've got here, we've got a behind the black cap, we've got a we've got a couple of dark figures. And of course, lying down into the blob, which turns out to be a figure later on. And then at the Voy car, we've got a, a redaction. You can see it, it's square. And uh, and it's from behind there, the boy, supposedly the boy, appears. Let's have a look. What is, getting to, what is going on here? This is ridiculous. Okay, same scene again. Uh, we're, we're, we're not zoomed in at all. <coughs> you can see how it's waving about. That's why it's hard to um, pull in on this shot. But the uh, production crew <laughs> are going to pull in on this shot for us. But it changes colour. It goes to night. Got a blurred bit in between. The guy, the blob behind the um, black car gets up, okay, and steps up the hill. The guy who's coming down into a gully for some reason, because, uh, and it's staying on hard ground. How does this happen? It only happens because it's a production. Now, I'd like to pull in on the shot myself so that we can get a better look at the characters behind the um, black car. See the guy to the furthest right of that car, not the blob. Put his foot forward. Now I'm going to reverse from here, but I want to show you that, that their zoom in starts with an out of focus change of colour. Right, let's see where we go. From here. <laughs> this is this is now the original um, view and. We'll find out <laughs> it's very shortly that their port, their, their zooming starts with this. This is a out of focus, purposely out of focus um, shot. Uh, and it's only a few frames that happen before they go in for their much clearer but browner night shot. It looks like a night shot. <laughs> so things will change colour. The chap has stepped down into that gully with his gun. The other chap has stepped up onto the road. The whole landscape has changed. Where's all the snow gone that was ploughed in front of the car? And what's and and why is it hard ground behind the car? Where's all that snow gone that was part of the high um, bankment of snow? So what I'd like to do here is just finish by comparing the two scenes. There's a buried first scene, the car, that's where it came to a halt, almost like sign. And here's scene two. Scene two is <laughs> is a totally different uh, scene than we first saw. It would have taken maybe a couple of hours later or an hour later once they've cleared all that snow. And just try to finish by comparing the two scenes. Does this look anything like what we saw in this scene? The car is buried, almost turned over. The car isn't buried, all the side is clear, doors are able to be open. That door wouldn't be able to be open. You can easily open the door here, snow's been cleared away. Who cleared the snow? See you later folks.